iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to I Teach Geek. I'm your host Rashad, and I'm here to show you how to install an IIS on Server 2003. When you first come in, you want to go ahead and go to Add Roles. Go to Next. All right, we want to go ahead and go up here, click on application server. Uh, I'm not going to be using either one of these, but if you were, you go ahead and install it. No ASP.NET for me. We go ahead and press next. Okay, click finish when it's finished. Go ahead and go to start, and we're going to go to administrator tools and go to the IISS manager. All right, we're in here now. First, let's go ahead and test to see if our website is up and running. So let's go ahead and go to Internet Explorer. Go ahead and type in localhost. And if you see this, then it's up and running. All right, I'm going to show you a couple things before, before we go. All right, here, right here in the manager, we have application pools. Uh, I won't be installing any application pools here, but um, watch my tutorial on PHP, and I'll show you uh, what the application pools are used for and, and why we would use one. Okay, we can go here, right here, to websites. This is my default website, the one you just seen. Here goes the pages that, that you just seen that ran through the browser. Um, this is also located... And you see, and that's what those files are. Uh, right now, we can go ahead and delete those because I won't be using either one of those. Um, I'm make I'm make a quick little HTML file. put in I work just to see if it works I'm gonna go ahead and go file and save as we're gonna call it index dot HTML and we want to go ahead and put it in that root directory. All right, we're going to go back to Internet Explorer. We'll put localhost back in. Notice that nothing showed up. The reason why nothing's showing up when you put an HTML file in there because that's not we have to go change our default documents so we can go back to the manager go right click go to properties we go to documents and these are the files that it's pulling first notice that it's not an HTML it's an HTM you see how old this is so we can go ahead and add index dot html press ok uh you can move it to the top if you want to but it really doesn't matter it's gonna it's gonna search for this file then this one then this one this one then it'll eventually find this one so i'm gonna go ahead and put it in here press apply now when i reload in explorer it should find it
And there you go. It says I work. Um, you have to do that once we, if you watch my tutorial on PHP, I'll show you how to do the same thing. You have to put an index.php or whatever file you wanted to always look for first. And one, one last thing I want to show you before we go is to set up a virtual directory. So let's go ahead and come here. You want to right click, new, virtual directory. A uh, virtual directory is a real cool feature. You can have a folder inside your root folder and name it something like test. And then in the web browser, you can have an alias name for test and call it like monkey. And monkey is the same thing as test. So, so we can go ahead and start it. So let's go ahead and press next. Like I said, the alias, we're gonna just going to call it monkey. Go ahead and press next. We're going to find a path. You can actually put the path anywhere you want. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and put it inside the root folder. I'm going to make a new folder. Let's go ahead and rename it to test. We're going to go ahead and press OK. And there you go, it's on test. We're going to have to just give it read permissions. Go to finish. All right, let's go to where that test folder is at. And let's go ahead and put this same file in here that I work in there. All right, let's go back to Internet Explorer. Let's go ahead and put localhost. And then put slash monkey. You press enter. And there it goes. And that, that monkey folder is the same thing as the test folder. That's the alias. Um, I have more tutorials on IIS for more deeper configuration, but these are the basic steps. I have a PHP and also Code Fusion. So uh, this is my tutorial on ISS. I'm your host Rashad. Thanks for watching.